So far, we've looked at a couple of different kinds of music you could put over visuals and how they contrast with each other. There's a sort of Lalo Schifrin kind of sound, and there was also a more pounding electronic one. There's another way to do sound design for picture, and that's just to use textures, to use synth and samples that kind of are more suggestive rather than bludgeoning you around the head. And this is a very popular way to work. A lot of people do it in film and TV. So let's have a quick look at how you might go about doing something like that. So again, here's some footage. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to create an instance of Absinthe, which happens to be a very cool, actually Absinthe Stereo, happens to be a very cool sound design tool. And within this, there are lots and lots of different sounds. I'm going to go and find one. I'm not going to make you watch me do that because it's going to take a while, but I'll be back. Okay, I found a sound that sounds pretty cool. It's called Blue Sun. And if I just play a bit over the video, you'll see what I mean about the different kind of feel it can give to the visuals. Believe it or not, I'm only holding two notes there. The synth is doing a lot of the work. And what you'll find is that sound selection is absolutely crucial for stuff like this. So you need to make sure you find the right sounds before you start and use those. And it will save you actually a lot of time going back and thinking, mm, was that as good as it could have been? What you'll find if you've got the right tools, that a lot of the time finding the right sound does half the work for you. I mean, I think that kind of sounds like a documentary soundtrack already, and I'm literally holding two notes, but that's because I took the time to find the right sound. So if I just record some of that signal over this, I'm going to turn the click on only because I plan to add some other stuff on top afterwards. And of course, if you've recorded to a click, then you can always go back and add stuff. If you've recorded blind, you're a little bit more limited. So I'm just going to try that. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my work area slightly differently. Like this. Come here. I'm going to try that now. <laughs> 